machine learning at the Globs and Finishing School. So today we will be learning K nearest neighbors classification algorithm. The basics of this algorithm relies upon the K means clustering. I expect K means clustering to be studied by students before watching this video. So let's I'll give you a brief introduction about what is K means clustering. The first one. Imagine that there are two friends, Rahul and Varun. Let's list down the destinations which Rahul likes in India and similarly the destinations which Varun likes in India. The first one, Rahul likes Mumbai, Goa and Kanyakumari, whereas Varun likes Nainital, Manali and Shimla. Now I will give you a task to classify the things which Rahul and Varun like. Can you give me a one word answer about what does Rahul and Varun like in common in India? Just take two minutes to analyze this. Once you are done, you will find that Mumbai, Goa and Kanyakumari contain beaches. Whereas Nainital, Manan and Shimla are hill stations. So can I say that Rahul likes beaches whereas Varun likes hill stations. Based upon, upon our interpretations, when we analyzed that Mumbai, Goa and Tanakumari are beaches whereas all these are hill stations. Can I say that we did not have a label about this data before classifying whereas once we analyzed both the things, we said that these are part of beaches and these are hill stations. This type of classification which is unlabeled and once it has been analyzed, it got some label. This is known as clustering and this is what in machine learning we use the algorithm k means clustering. Now I will give you one more task. The ne next task is you have some positives and you have some negatives in a group which has positives and negatives. Now imagine a situation which you can relate from your college life. When you went to the first year, what was the first thing that came to your mind when you visited your college? So you had some kind of prejudice, parents must have told you, you have to score in all the subjects. Whereas when you go, went to the college, some more people had come in and whatever they said that you many times you started believing them. That is this subject is simple, this subject is hard, this faculty is good, this faculty is not that good, this is a shabby fellow and many more things. They must have told you about your girls in the college also. So what are, what, what, who fills in all these things in a student in first year? So these are basically seniors. So what do seniors tell you? About certain faculties, about certain, fa about certain friends, about certain subjects. So this determines what an individual becomes, whether a positive or negative. You can relate it via this. So once you come to the college, if a new fellow comes in, whose name is Tar, and now who has to go in the group of either plus or minus. How will you determine whether this new fellow which who has come new in the college, which group will he belong to? Whether he will belong to seniors or whether he will belong to his peers? As you know that many people get impressed by the seniors. Let us figure out, can we figure out an algorithm to find out which group does the new fellow belong to? Yes, we can. So what does give you the most what is the most uh, emotion that gets attached to a human being? One is love, one is anger. And that's how you pursue your passions and that's how you pursue your beliefs. So what if I say that if he gets more surrounded by more number of seniors, that means he'll go towards seniors. If he gets surrounded by good guys, that is peers who want to do something really good in their lives, that means he, this guy will shift towards their peers. Similarly, we will go for positives and negatives. Let us now think that this star is over here. We will take a distance which is kind of the nearest neighbors to this star. So who is the nearest neighbor? If all, if I take three neighbors in such a way that this is at two units, this distance is again two units and this distance is again two units. So who is having the majority within two units across this new candidate? Plus is having 2, negative is having 1. That means that I can see that he is surrounded by 2 fellows which are charge plus 
and one which are minus. In this case, we will have to say that this new guy will become plus as he will have more influence of the rest to people. Similarly, when I try to increase the distance in this fashion, so if there are five charges in which negative R3 and positive R2. Now, we know that the majority has been led by my negative. This new person now becomes negative. This is what K nearest neighbor is all about. It is going to tell you what will be the label of the new person who has come in the group in the cluster which has already been classified. This is K nearest neighbors. Now you will ask me sir why I am taking always odd numbers. I am taking odd numbers because if I take two neighbors, one is positive, one is negative. I can never determine what group does this person belong to because positives are and negatives are in equal in number. That means this leads to a tie and we cannot decide anything on this tiebreaker. That is the reason whenever you are stuck in a tie, just go for the next odd number available. Okay, so this is was what Kotkin Yes Neighbors is all about. You will get further information and the code by exploring the sklearn KNN package in Python. You can run these codes on your Anaconda library. For videos like this, you can subscribe to the Globsyn channel. Thank you.